Today's show brought to you by HP. So a little bit of an update show, been traveling, uh, got back from Australia, been in Atlanta, <sighs> literally just got in. I uh, wanted to give you a quick update. First of all, I uh, want to thank HP for their continued association and sponsorship with Jaffe Juice TV. Uh, if you haven't joined the uh, employee purchase program, uh, you need to do that. Uh, I just bought myself a, a nice little netbook. Um, really, 250 bucks. Uh, you can too. I just want to shout out to the entire Australian blogging community, specifically in Sydney. Um, it is a thriving, thriving community. Um, they have these Friday coffee mornings. They get 70 people every fr every Friday morning. What a great community. We had a great blogger evening. Um, so I want to send props to, to Gavin Heaton and to Katie Chatfield and to Ian Lyons. Um, you guys were also covering me, uh, my keynote at the Australian Direct Marketing Association, live tweeting, etc. It was pretty awesome. Um, we had a great dinner. And during that dinner, I asked Gavin Heaton, who, by the way, is nuts, certifiably crazy, um, why his avatar, his Twitter avatar, was this uh, very uh, oriental, uh, no, I guess more like Egyptian-looking woman, very, very refined, sophisticated woman from thousands of years ago. But what, what, what's up with that, dude? Uh, and he said it was someone called like Titi Kaka or representing a, child, a show that he used to watch during his childhood. And I said, dude, you are totally, totally crazy. He said, I need to send you a t-shirt. Um, and he did. And the t-shirt arrived just the other day. I'm wearing it right now. Can you get that, Feldman? Yeah, stand yeah. up. Do stand I? up, hold Simon, it straight. Simon Perfect. says. Yep, Simon says. Uh, this one would be Gavin Heaton. So we did a show on the uh, three wolves plus one moon equals a viral phenomenon, if you will. And uh, Ed Herder left a comment on my blog and he, and he said major fail. We well, just said fail. I'm adding in the word major because I wasn't wearing the t-shirt. So if I had worn the t-shirt, it would have made the whole episode uh, brilliant. And if I wasn't, it was a big fail. Well, you know what, Ed, my friend, and I, and I really mean it, you are my friend. Um, the fail is Ed Herder. Ed Herder fail, because I'm wearing the shirt now, and you should have sent it to me, just like Gavin Heaton sent me the Titty Carker t-shirt. Oh, three wolf moon shirt. Notice there, can you see that, Feldman? No, what's that say? It says, feel the power. The shirt came with a little sticker that says, feel the power. I haven't even taken the sticker off, but I got to tell you, I feel real powerful wearing the shirt. A uh, couple of other things. One is, um, today was a, a momentous day for me. Uh, today, I officially, it's Friday, it's my way day. Uh, I've now lost 50 pounds and uh, I just wanted to share that with you. I wanted you guys to be the first to know. Uh, huge. I mean, 50 pounds, that's more than... Uh, at least two of my kids way. Um, I did it, you can do it too. Um, and speaking of, of weight loss and motivation and community, um, I also want to talk to you about the fact that I came back from somewhere else, not just Australia, not just Atlanta, but I went on a beautiful cruise with Oprah. Uh, she took all the Harpo employees and of course myself on this amazing boat cruise. I was a little bummed that I had to pay for the taxes. You know, there was a little bit of a... Uh, uh, a little bit of a downer, but I had a great time with her. We're both on hiatus in terms of Oprah shows and, and Jaffe Juice TV interaction and dialogue. So when Oprah returns in fall, I'll also be returning with a few new uh, Oprah episodes. Uh, we just decided, you know, that we take a break because we've been having so much fun. But, you know, all good things sometimes, uh, you know, must, uh, must take a break.